In this video, we will talk about uh, diode circuits. Uh, there are two circuits. Uh, one is the forward bias circuit. And the other one is the reverse bias circuit. In the forward bias circuit, we have two options, or two models that we can choose for the diode, depending upon the, the application. We have the ideal model and we have the practical model. In the ideal model, we assume that if a voltage is being applied to the cathode, then we have basically a short circuit and the diode is on. And if you apply a negative voltage to the anode, then it will be an open circuit and there will be no current flow through the diode. So let's do an example of this. Let's assume that you have a battery, 5 volts, connected to the diode. And this is a 100 ohm resistor. And since this is the positive being connected to the anode of the diode, then we say that the diode is on. Well, what we would do for the analysis is we would replace the diode with a wire. But still, we know that the diode is still there. And this is would be the circuit that we would analyze. So if we want to know the current through the diode, we know the current through the diode is the same current that's flowing through the resistor. So if we find out the current through the resistor, then we're able to calculate the same current through the diode. So using Ohm's law, we would take the 5 volts and we would divide it by the value of the resistor. So that will give us 50 milliamps of current through the resistor, which is the same current that will be through the diode. We know there's no voltage loss on the diode using the ideal model, so we use the complete 5 volts for the resistor. In the next video, I'll show you what happens if we decide to use the practical model for the diode.